Hey yo, we're back with another video, and on today's video, I'm going to be playing a dungeon game which goes by the name Gaia Renewal. This game was made by one of my very, very good friends, so I would really appreciate it if you guys could support this game in any way you can. Because like I said, this game is made by one of my very good friends, and he put a lot of time into it. And not only that, it's a very good game as well, in my opinion. So yeah, give this game a try and support it if you can, and if you do that, I would really appreciate it. In today's video, I'm going to be making a video on one of my very good friends' game. Alright, so in this game, there's features such as beta rewards, dungeons, where you can run dungeons, raids, PvP, golds, and classes. The two features I experienced and went through while playing this game was dungeons and classes. I experienced the classes feature by picking my very first class, which happens to be the warrior class, and that's the only class you can pick when you first play the game, because the other classes, in order to be able to pick them, you have to be a certain rank. But yeah, with that being said, I experienced the classes, and dungeons pvp i couldn't really experience it because you have to have more than one player in the game in order to experience pvp so i'm gonna try to experience the other features that i didn't experience in this video on the next video i make on this game but on this video specifically i'm just gonna run a dungeon all right i'm in the game and as you can see i already have a character which has the warrior class and that's the only class i could go for as a beginner because i have to be a certain rank in order to pick other classes but yeah i'm gonna create a new character and i'm gonna go with warrior again and this time i'm gonna actually customize my character but before i do that look at all the classes you guys could pick from over time when you level up and get a new rank so once you're rank e you could pick three classes rogue and these two other classes and when you're rank c you could become ice mage and uh, yeah there's a bunch of classes that you guys could pick from um, once you progress in this game but yeah you have to start with warrior and i'm gonna start with warrior in this case but before i do that let me customize my character like i said i hope y'all messing with the fit <laughs> but yeah so far this game is fun like i've played this game once before i recorded this video for about 30 minutes and i made it to level four and honestly this game is fun i have no problem with it other than the uis and i already told the creator himself the uis low-key ruined this game and he agreed with me He's been planning to change the UIs and he's still planning to change them. But the only thing holding him back from changing the UIs is the UI artists nowadays. You know, it's really hard to find UI artists, first of all. And second of all, it's super difficult for him to find that UI artist that has, you know, UIs that fit this game specifically or could make UIs that could fit this game specifically. So that's why, you know, the UIs aren't that good and he's struggling to um, upgrade the UIs and make them better or make new UIs. But yeah, other than that, like I said, bro, there's a PvP feature in this game. You could do PvP, you could do dungeons, and everything so far looks fun. And the dungeon, the only thing I fully experienced and played through, I had fun in, honestly. I had fun. Not that much fun because I was alone, and I feel like you could have a lot of fun during dungeons when you're playing with friends. Playing alone in this game is fun, but at the same time, it's not as fun as if it would be to play it with a friend but yeah, as you guys can see i'm currently in the pvp arena and i click the ui to enter the pvp arena and i could click uh at the ui in the bottom right which would uh, take me out the arena and i could spectate but yeah i really like this pvp area it's really cool i can't wait until like this players in this game and then you know i see how this pvp feature fully functions but for now i can't really you know do pvp or uh see how this feature functions because there's no players so we're gonna have to hop off this feature and run a dungeon all right that's what we're gonna do for this video but next video like i said i'm gonna try my hardest to you know bring my friends on this game or just find the right time to record it when there's plays on it but yeah, let's leave the, the vp area real quick and hop on a dungeon because bro honestly dungeons in this game is not that bad and when you get skills it just gets funner and funner in my opinion the skills are pretty cool in this game they're not that bad and if you guys play Dungeon Quest and like Dungeon Quest, I would highly suggest you guys give this game a try. Oh, look, there's another player. Hey, yo, what's up, bro? That's cool. But yeah, um, what's it called? I also forgot to mention this game is currently for Robux. Jersey, if you're watching this video, and you probably are, I would highly suggest you run a stress test for this game. That would be a great idea to do. Run a stress test, you know, so you can bring in new players. Because if you just release a game and make it paid access, not a lot of people would buy it. Because not a lot of people would know how this game is going to function if it's worth it if it's fun you know all that good stuff and the only way they would know that is if you run a stress test for like a couple days you know make the game free run a stress test for like one to three days and then close it at a huge update and make it paid access and if people enjoyed the game when you ran the stress test they're most likely gonna buy access when you uh, make it paid access but if you just make it paid access right off the bat not a lot of people will play this game and get to experience the funness in this game 
But yeah, this is just, you know, a suggestion from me to you. You don't have to do that. You're the creator. You could do whatever you want. But yeah, that's just a suggestion from me to you. But I'm currently in a dungeon with my boy. What's his name again? Kyle? Kyle something. But yeah, I'm currently in a dungeon with him. And I believe he's another YouTuber. And he definitely knows what he's doing. He's like level 35. And he got the Ice Mage class, which I believe is the strongest or best class in the game. So, he, so he's about to go crazy. So this is the first time I run a dungeon with somebody. Surprisingly, the first time I played this game, like I said, which was for about 30 minutes, I ran a dungeon alone. And I made it to like floor 6. After that, it got really difficult. And yeah, from experience from running dungeons, I feel like you need somebody with you. You can't really fully run a dungeon alone. This dungeon, at first, it seems like you could fully run it. And it looks like I know what I'm doing. But honestly, bro, you can't run it alone. Once you make it to like floor 6, 7, probably... You could probably make it to floor 10 or above alone. But somewhere around floor 15 or 14, I believe it gets super hard. You can't solo. Like, there's no way you could solo it. Because these NBCs do a crazy amount of damage. So far, I'm having fun. As you can see, my boy going crazy with the Ice Mage. I managed to unlock one skill already. And I'm about to unlock the second one once I hit level 8. And like I said, bro, unlocking skills and using skills in this game just makes it more fun when fighting NBCs. Imagine how much more fun it would be when using these skills against online players and doing PvP with all the online players. That would be really lit. But... Yeah, I can't really experience that or talk about that on this video because I still didn't do it. Hopefully, I do it on the next video. Um, but yeah, in this video, once I finish running this dungeon or if I fail running this dungeon, I'll just wrap up the video. And yeah, I'm not going to really do nothing major in this video or show off a lot of stuff in this video because I just want to simply run a dungeon and show you guys how it would look like to run a dungeon in this game. And yeah, show it off, bro. Because honestly, running dungeon in this game is not, it's not that bad. It's actually fun. It doesn't look as fun for me as it is for my boy Kyle because he has a lot of skills. Once I get more skills, it's going to be super fun. But my boy Kyle going crazy, bro. Okay. Bro, this whole time, I'm calling him Kyle and his name is not Kyle. It's actually Key something, bro. I seen the K and Y and I assumed his name was going to be Kyle. I didn't really fully focus on his name or read his name. So I kind of sounded stupid in the beginning of the video. Let's act like I didn't call him Kyle, guys. But yeah, let me start calling him Key. But, yeah, I'm like two levels away from unlocking my skill. Let's go. I can't wait to unlock my second skill and see how it functions. Hopefully, the second skill goes crazy compared to the first skill. But don't get me wrong. The first skill is pretty good. It does, it does go crazy itself. But not that crazy compared to my boy Key's freaking moves, bro. Like, his moves. His Ice Mage is just a different beat. By the looks of it, yeah, Ice Mage is just a different beat. But... Yeah, uh, I'm so close to leveling up to level 7, and then I'm going to be one level away from unlocking my second skill. Let's go. And we're, like, around the corner from finishing the dungeon quest. Yes, so we're, like, almost halfway through the dungeon. Hopefully, we complete this dungeon, and we don't fail it. There's always that chance, you know, I could fail the dungeon if my boy Key leaves. If he leaves, I'm definitely going to fail the dungeon. If he stays, I feel like we could definitely win this dungeon easily, because Ice Mage is a different breed, and he's easily defeating this NBCs, as you can see. All right, me and my boy Key, we're currently in uh, floor 11, aka round 11. So yeah, so far we're doing really good. Honestly, <laughs> I'm going through this dungeon like it's nothing. Thanks to my boy Key, I feel like if it wasn't for my boy Key, I would have been dead by now or I would have been struggling like a lot. But yeah, <laughs> my boy Key, bro, he's killing these NBCs like it's nothing. Yeah, I need to get my hands on the Ice Mage class ASAP, no cap. That's the class I want now because this class just looks like... Yeah, it just looks like a different beat. No cap, bro. He's easily one-shotting them. But again, it kind of low-key has to do with his level. Because he's high level. So yeah, that could be another reason too. But the moves though. The moves, they have a good amount of range. And yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, The moves are pretty broken too. Not only the level. Mm. But yeah, look how many NBCs. Yeah, if I was alone, I would have been dead by now. Man's really just one-shotted all the NBCs at once. I'm telling you, Ice Page is a different breed. Eesh. And, uh, yeah, let's just keep going, bro. We're almost there. We're almost gonna finish this dungeon. Ten more rounds. Can we do it? Can we do it? Damn, there's new NBCs. We got swarms now. So, there's, in this dungeon, so far, you fight swarms and slimes. I don't know if there's more NBCs that are gonna come out. Different NBCs over time. I'm not really sure. But, so far, I fought slime. And now we're fighting swarms. Not bad. All right. All right, more swarms. So I feel like just swarms are about to come out. No more slime. That's what I'm thinking. Or they're probably going to mix it. Slime and swarms are going to come at us. But I have a good feeling that we're just going to fight swarms for the rest of this dungeon. Oh, no, never mind. I guess I was wrong. So, yeah. We're going to have to fight slimes and swarms for the rest of the dungeon. Not only swarms. 
so yeah we're we just made it to uh floor 17 we're so close to finishing the dungeon let's go man and i also forgot to mention guys i got my own very coat so if you guys end up buying access to this game or if this game happens to go out on the stress test and you guys get to play it for free redeem my code all right which is basically my channel name capital t the and then capital s salem one two one yes sir and it gives you 15 essence 15 essence that's a good code right there bro so yeah use it before it expires because it might expire on the next update so yeah let's finish this dungeon and i got myself 15 free essence that's sweet essence do come in handy bro. i feel like that's a game currency yeah it is a game currency matter of fact so yeah essence yeah if you can get your hands uh, on essence in this game then go ahead and do that because they could really help you i feel like with essence you can unlock classes i'm not really sure i didn't really look into it but yeah you can unlock classes probably um I don't know, anything that's uh, purchasable in this game, essence is going to be the currency. So you'll need essence to get something in this game. So yeah, redeem the code, 15 free essence. That's pretty good. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to, bro, did I just die? Bruh, I just died. That's tough. So I'm just going to wrap up the video here. But yeah, like I said, I'm not really sure if you could get essence another way. I don't know. Actually, there, there has to be a way you could get essence other than redeeming codes, obviously. Yeah, what am I saying? Oh, you can respawn for two essence? Let me respawn. Say less. Then gotta redeem my code. If I didn't redeem my code, I wouldn't have been able to respawn. My boy Key did. All right. It's cliff for me. Now, look. Look how hard it is for me to solo these NBCs. If my boy Key was here, he would have easily one-shotted them. Oh, check it out. I'm about to get one-shotted. Damn, I can't do nothing, guys. Yup. Yup. Point proven. You can't solo a dungeon. You just can't, bro. So, yeah. I'm just gonna wrap up the video here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And again, Jersey, I highly suggest you... uh you know make a stress test for this game so you could bring in a good wave amount of people when you play into this game hopefully they end up liking this game because i low-key liked it and so there's a good chance they're gonna end up liking it to the point where they would want to buy access when the game gets back on um on paid access or maybe if you get a good amount of players just don't make it paid access bro just release a big update and just make it free you never know it might hit from a page like the dungeon quest who knows but yeah in my opinion i feel like this game would be great as free to play in my opinion bro but again i'm not the creator you're the owner you do whatever you want with this game but that's just a suggestion from me to you but again if you want to make it paid access at least run a stress test and then make it paid access after releasing a big update after the stress test other than that hopefully you guys enjoyed the video it's been your boy the summer 21 peace this out. world shall know pain